Okay, welcome back to Mr. Hassan's math channel. This is now the final question, question number 10 from the Pure Mathematics P1, October 2021 International A-Level session. And this question here is a question all about, I guess, integration, differentiation, a bit of detective work here. We have to basically um, be given about function y equals f of x, where x is greater than zero, that f dash of x is equal to ax minus 12 x to the power of a third, where a is a constant, f dash f dash of x means the first differential of x of the function f of x f double dash x means the second differential when you differentiate it twice m equals zero when x is 27 and that the curve passes through the point one minus eight and we got to find first the value of a so let's start off with what they gave us they gave us first that oops let me just get the pen right first they told us that f dash of x is equal to ax minus 12x to the power of a third, where a is a constant, and f double dash of x equals zero. So let's find f double dash of x first. That's going to be give, given by a. Um, if you do, do differentiate this expression, a times x, the constant is left when you differentiate it, because it's like ax to the power of one. One times a is a, and then you reduce the power of one, that becomes x to the power of zero, which is one, so you're left with a. Then you've got a third times minus 12, which is minus 4x, and you've got to take away 1 from a third, so a third minus 1 is minus 2 thirds, so it's minus, it's minus 4x to the power of minus 2 thirds, and we're told that, that that's equal to 0 when x is 27. So we know that f, f double dash x is equal to 0 when x is 27. So we could say, we could write it like this, f double dash x of 27 is equal to 0. So if I replace this with 27, I'll get a minus 4 times 27 to the power of minus 2 thirds to the power of minus 2 thirds is equal to 0. So we can solve this equation. Um, this is the same as saying a minus 4 over, and this is like the cube root of 27 squared equals 0, if you use the laws of indices. This is like um, a to the power of minus something is 1 over a to the power of the same thing, positive. And we know that, for example, a to the power of m over n is the same as the nth root of a to the power of m. So this is the, the root and this is the power. The denominator is the root and this is the power. So this negative makes it go in the denominator. The 3 is the root and the 2 is the power. So this will give me a minus 4. Now, the, the cube root of 27 is 3. 3 squared is 9, so this gives me 4 over 9 equals 0. So, therefore, we can say a is equal to 4 over 9. So, we found the value of a using this particular fact. Um, so, that's done for part a. Now, we've got to go on to part b. Okay, part b says, hence, find f of x. Okay, so we now got to find um, f of x, all right, um, the original equation. And the original equation was y equals f of x. So now, we know so far that f dash of x is equal to 4 over 9, x minus 12, x to the power of a third. That's what we know so far. And we also know that the curve passes through the point 1 minus 8. So if I integrate this, if I integrate this, I'll get f of x. f of x will be the integral of 4 over 9x, minus 12x to the power of a third with respect to x. Integrating this will give me the original function. Okay, so let's integrate this. So if you integrate this, you have to add 1 to the power and divide by the new power. So you have 4 over 9, and this would be x squared divided by 2, minus, and this would be 12x. Add 1 to the power, you're going to get 4 over 3, divided by 4 over 3, and you're going to have plus c, the constant of integration. So now, this will give me f of x is equal to 4 over 9 times 2 is 18, x squared. Okay, which gives me 2 over 9. In fact, I can make it a bit simpler by just cancelling out the 2 and the 4. gives you 2 over 9, x squared. And this is going to give me, I have to um, divide by... When I divide by a fraction, you're multiplying by its reciprocal. So I'll just write it out like this first. It will be 3 over 4 times 12x to the power of 4 over 3. And I'll simplify it later. 
plus c. So we've got f of x is equal to 2 over 9 x squared. Now the 4 cancels with the 12 giving you 3. You're left with minus 9 x to the power of 4 over 3 plus c. Now to find f of x properly, we have to find the value of c, which we can do because we know it goes to the point 1, negative 8. That's when x equals 1 and y equals negative 8. So if we substitute instead of x, y, which is like f of x, negative 8, and instead of x, 1, you'll have 2 over 9 times 1 squared, minus 9 times x to the power of 4 over 3, which is just 9. X, 1 to the power of anything will just be 1, um, plus c. So now we've got something we can work with. You're going to have basically minus 8 plus 9, which is going to be 1, minus 2 over 9 is equal to c. So c is going to be 7 over 9. 9 over 9 minus 2 over 9, so c is 7 over 9, so therefore f of x will be 2 over 9 x squared minus 9 x to the power of 4 over 3 plus 7 over 9, and there we have found f of x, including the value of c, All right, which is what we have to do when it says find f of x, because we have been given a point on the curve, so we can find the value of c, and there we have finished this question. And we have completed this um, paper. I think that was the last question, part B. And we've completed this paper of P1, October 2021. Um, thank you for watching. Um, other questions from this topic of, I guess, integration. Um, uh, well, uh, first of all, other questions from this paper can be found in the playlist that should appear over here from this October 2021 P1 paper. Other questions from P1 integration you'll find in the playlist that should appear somewhere in this region. And from the topic of differentiation, which this also got to do with, will appear from this um, in this region over here. And you can subscribe to my channel by clicking on the link over, over here. Thank you for watching. And I hope you understood everything fine and this helped you for your exams and for your general understanding of maths. Thank you for watching and see you soon.